to die alone But he die alone. He bounds the hands of Jesus in the garden where he prayed. They led him through the street in shame. He spat upon the Savior, so pure and free from sin. They say crucified him, he is to blame. But he die alone Alone for you and me He could have gone A thousand angels Destroy the world And set him free He could have gone A thousand angels but he die alone Alone for you and me Upon his precious hell They place a crown of thorn And say before the king They shot him and they curse him and they mock his holy name all alone he offer But he die alone Alone for you and me When they lay him to the cross His mother stood nearby He said, woman, oh, oh darkie He cried, I asked for water but they gave him none to drink The same of war was done He could have gone He turned the To destroy the world And set him free He could have gone He die alone Alone for you and me He could have gone He could have gone Ten thousand angels To destroy the world And set him free He could have gone But he die alone Alone for you and me To the hall of mob hidden 
he did for me see crying the cross of shame he took alone and when he, he cried his finish he gave himself to die salvation wondrous plan was done getting us ready for. I ask you, Father, may your word locate us. May your spirit locate us. May your presence locate us. Through your words, and everyone will be nourished, sanctified, cleanse, watch for your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for the kind of love you had towards us. We cannot return nor express them. Lord is beyond human comprehension. Is beyond human understanding. Deeper than we ever knew. Higher than we ever heard. Thank you, Father, as you speak to us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Is there any living soul in the church? I want to hear louder. Amen. Just give a clap of round to the Lord in appreciation. Give a clap of round to the Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 2. Twenty-five to twenty-six, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he has seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. 
And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou the servant be bound in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. Quit thou as prepared before the face of all people. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simon blessed him and Simon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, the child is to the child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. For a sign which shall be spoken against yea, a sword shall pierce through his own soul also. That the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Hannah, a prophetess, the daughter of Fenua, of the tribe of Esther. She was of a great age and have lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. Let's take it down a bit. And she was a widow of about four score and four years. That is 84 years widow. Which departed not from the temple but served God with fasting and with prayers night and day. And she also coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that look for redemption in Israel. That's to 38. The message says devotion and intimacy with the Lord. Devotion and intimacy with the Lord. Devotion simply means whom what you have given your all to to seek, to pursue, to depend, that is taking number one position in your life. Devotion also means worship. It also means dependence, reliance, and commitment. While intimacy means oneness. Now, from the scripture we read, we can easily say, devotion leads to relationship. Relationship leads to intimacy. Intimacy leads to oneness. When we talk about relationship, we're talking about friendship. For Simeon, his age was not stated here. But from scriptural understanding, he 
was very old man who abandoned every other pursuit of life devoted his life in seeking God's kingdom he put money away aside family aside business aside popularity aside every other influence and every other distraction and every other thing begging for an attention he said go this way I am pursuing the kingdom of God in such complete abandonment of his entire life seeking and searching and living for one thing he devoted his life waiting for the consolation of Israel for the salvation of Israel for the redemption of his people in such devotion he developed a relationship with the Lord he developed a friendship with the Lord he went into intimacy with the Lord and was united in the Lord's decision and that was why we were told as he was waiting on the Lord the Lord decided to reveal his secret to him whom are you going to tell your secrets if not the person that you know very well if not the person you trust very well you may have friends but not all of them knows your secret you may have relatives but not all of them knows your secret some wives do not know their husband's secrets some husbands do not know their wife's secrets though they are united in marriage so also there are people in the church they don't know the mind of God because they are not close to God they are not devoted to God they are not converted to God and that is why they will not be able to know the mind of the Lord nor the secret of the Lord but if God is to reveal his secret to you his program his meal his activities you know be somebody that devoted your life your all in pursuing him in seeking him every other thing of the world will be put aside every other thing of the earthly distraction and the earthly gain pursuit must be secondary and so what told in such pursuit and devotion and commitment to walk in symbolic relationship and complete you know sold out to his creator the lord came and said to him you will not die until you see the savior of israel until you see the salvation and the redeemer of israel that your generation have been waiting for many hundreds years if this man was in the badge in the, in the badge or or permit joints or in the music uh, joints or entertainment industry joints will you hear what the lord was saying to him no he separated himself completely many of you say i don't hear from god they say god how will you hear from god when you are far from god i don't know the will of god i don't know the matter how will you know the mind of god when you are busy in the world consuming the world you know you know teaching away from the from the lord by the worldly system 
worldly attires, worldly things, business, money, pride. Everything about you is after the pleasing things of this world. And that's why you're not happy. You're never happy because of the things of this world. But for devout people like Simon, he have abandoned himself to God. Rejected every other thing. Pursuing his presence. Pursuing relationship. Pursuing friendship. Pursuing love of God. Pursuing obedience. And waiting on him. And pursuing intimacy. And oneness. And that is why the Lord decided to reveal his program to him. And the Bible says when Jesus was born. On the day of dedication. Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to the temple why it was the according to the custom and laws of Israel and the Lord spoke to Simon go to the house of the Lord now and see the Savior as I promise you Bible says he came by the Spirit meaning he was led he was inspired He went to the temple at the right time and met the Savior at the right time and prophesied by the Holy Ghost because he was a man of the Spirit at the same right time. And the Bible said, and the custom was the baby was handed over to him as one of the oldest. He made a statement, Oh Lord, may my soul. Depart in peace. Now that my eyes have seen the Savior, my salvation. Peace shall be promised to his people right from time. I have seen the Savior. Let me go to heaven. Even though Christ has not started his ministry, he has not even had the message of Jesus. But his word is ready to depart. Because he knew that the world and all his system has no bearing as far the kingdom is concerned. So he have given up the world before now. Having seen the Savior, he was saying bye bye to the world. And I, oh Lord, I am coming home. That is a man of conversion. But those who are earthly bound, those who are worldly control. Those who have devoted their lives to something else instead of the Savior and the Lord. Every time the heart is charged with suffering and cares and worries and anxiety of this world. They are never happy. But when money comes, they are happy. When they are healthy, they are happy. When they are sick, they are not happy. Why? They don't know God. They may be pastors, they may be evangelists, they may be prophets, they may be show winners, they may be workers. All their life, why they come to church? Their prayer content, their fasting, their vision, everything about them is give me, give me, give me, give me. When they are not giving, like little children, what do they do? They cry. But for people, the senior ones, like Simon and Hannah, they were people that were probably in the last ladder of Christian grace or religious grace. Now, he prophesied that this child had been saved for the rising and falling of many in Israel. Many will believe in Israel and they will rise. Many will say, you know the son of the capital, Joseph, son of Mary, they will also fall. And also, he is a light that will lighten all the people in the world. We well, see not the same prophecy of the John the Baptist. That is that light that lightened every man that cometh into the, the world in John chapter 1. Simon has already spoken about that. And 
Bible said he made some product that even this monk the sword, the sword will go through his soul. It will pierce his soul. And I was like, when Jesus died, the Roman soldier said he's dead. But he said, in order to be sure, the other criminals, their bones were broken. But for Jesus, his bone was not broken according to prophecy. He had to bring a sword to pierce his soul to his body and drew it and water to fulfill the scripture and what Simon said here for the redemption of the whole world for his blood and water to be shed for our soul salvation now what am I implying Hannah another woman she married and lived her husband for only eight years she married and enjoyed marriage for eight years the husband died she resolved not to marry again but she devoted her life her pleasure her desire her pursuits in serving and waiting and seeking and living for the Lord night and day in fasting and in prayers that's another friend of the Lord also she was not a late comer not the one that is busy here busy there, busy there you know here, yeah, the church today and now come, you get as my body be no, not Hannah she have no reason why she will not be in the church. Whether she was sick or healthy or weak, she will always be there. That had been her number one pursuit. So she devoted her life in order to graduate to intimacy and oneness with the Lord. She was there. The Savior was brought in. By him all things were created. Whether they be visible or invisible, or throne, or dominion, or principality, or power. Well, brought in. She, there have been other children being dedicated, probably the same day, but not this one. There may be about other children dedicated from time to time, within that uh, period of time, but they know the difference between the baby's savior and other babies. So she recognized it. Bible said she was led of the spirit. She also carried the baby and prophesied according to the word of God. Why? They were devoted to God. Committed to God. Completely surrendered to God. Now, before I graduate to other scriptures, let's see the scripture. Acts 17, 21 to 23. Another devotion, but not to God. Another devotion, but not to heaven. Many are very devoted, but not to God. Acts 17, 21 to 23. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spend their time, their life, their pleasure, their talent, their education, their wisdom, all their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new things. These people are adventurous. They look for new adventure of tales new events new show in the town morning night all the time like football fanatics like political fanatics like some religious fanatics like some people that are given to movie and Hollywood and bollywood and 
and they can call them by their names and they are still devoted but not to God they can give you the historical fact and all the roots from where these people are operating from just like the people of Athens and their strangers 22 then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said you men of Athens I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious for as I pass by I beheld your what your devotions but not to God I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown gods whom you, you therefore ignorantly what worship him the blind eye unto you so for the tenants they are also devoted people converted surrender their time they are all only in telling tales and hearing the new developments you see them where you see news stand where they say newspaper they gather there when you go there and hear their discussion on politics on sports if that is the devotees you see them in the pool where they play pool all this uh, you know um, what do you call them then they gather at that side you discover they will tell you about the letters in political arena in social arena in education in business even other youthful issues they don't miss words they know it they tell it better like the attendance now to us in the church why is God far from you why you don't hear from God anymore either by revelation or by the scripture or by intuition or by events because you are far from God your dreams your visions in life is no longer after heaven all you pray for all you crave for all you clamor for all you fight for do you know that people fast and pray that the enemy will die do you know that oh yes when we talk about devotion let me before i go few years ago there was a lady that the television brought the show is many television beneath she was on high tension naked are you understanding me she was what naked in the high tension then people saw her and gathered all the people in the area they were begging her to go and say no they involved police soldiers they came with gun they said she refused why she was a devotee to wishes and wizard converted to wishes and wizard and when eventually they took it took time for her to come they cut gun before she just do like this and landed on the ground naked and they asked her say i was going to our meeting my friend finished what was her fuel what was their fuel blood the blood she drank couldn't carry her to the place she went to do meeting with Lucifer. but those who devoted the to lucifer and satan they are willing to do anything for satan but you are here in church fasting i know fit evangelism i know fit publicity i know fit this one i know fit ah, you go fit one day i look at time i'm a busy man i'm a busy sister i'm a busy woman you know busy but do so are serving satan we are ready to even suffer shame that woman became naked for satan and they showed the whole world she said 
I was going to meet him because she was Satan devotee. She is now in one spirit with Satan. She is now operating in satanic power. In satanic cream, cream that she could fly. Even high tension, you know high tension, how dangerous and uh, it can kill Abby. But she was standing there on hot, operating another spiritual power. I told you last time, a man from him of faith. That one, the cassette was here. We haven't shared it that time. I'm telling me. Was attending meeting with Lucifer himself. He left him with faith. And was on the air. Flying. He came to data Area. Usoko area. And saw that crusade was going on. And people were dancing, say, Let me go and spoil the crusade. Amen. He stopped on the air and sent rain, invoking rain. When the rain came, all the people that were dancing in crusade started. The person nowhere to be found. All the people ran away, said, Make rain stop. The rain refused to stop. There was one brother. Or a minister, I've forgotten, who said, I will not live here with my suit, with my cloth, until this rain stop. As this brother kept on praying, praying, his prayer touched the man. The man said, This small boy, can you face me? The man struck him, the, 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 the person that prayed. One hand, the brother hand began to. As if he's withering. The brother kept on praying. He refused to go. He sent another one. As he was sending. And the brother kept on praying. Before he knew it. The heavens say. I am in charge. That man fell from the sky. Where he was. On the crusade ground. Bah! All the people gathered to kill him. They said they don't kill him. His leg was full of sore that that prayer of the man injured him. It was there he opened up. It was there he confessed that I now know there is power above our power. He told them his mission. From there they led him to Christ. He said that what? Killing him. They wanted to stone him. He gave his life to Christ. By that time he was already injured. His leg were rotting. And while that pain was in him, he was telling people to give their life to who? To Jesus, whom he was fighting against. Eventually, he was in that pain. He was saved. The Lord took him home. Amen? Amen. I'm talking about devotee. Whom do you devote? Satan, those who devote their life to Satan, they go their life to making money, making policies. They are ready to kill their children. They are ready to kill their wives. They are ready to kill their father. They are ready to kill their mother. They are ready to even remove their womb. They are ready to give their brain. They are ready to remove one part of their hand. They are ready to sacrifice anything. Because they are pursuing the things of this world. But to you that is pursuing heaven. Why is heaven far from you? Because you refuse to devote your life. You refuse to surrender your all. And that is why many are looking for comfortable Christianity. Many are looking for comfortable church, comfortable message. If the message of the gospel is so comfortable as some people print it, why would the Bible told us that Jesus had to endure what? The cross. Did he say enjoy the cross? Why did the Bible tell us they that endure to the end? Did he say enjoy to the end? But many pastors and churches are preaching they that enjoy to the end. Now, do you want to know the secret of God? They want to be a friend of the Lord. They want to be in tandem with the Lord. Look at the secret. 
Psalm 25 verse 14. Psalm 25 verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that do what? That fear him. And he will show them what? His covenant. For Simon or Simeon, he fear the Lord. Obey the Lord. Seek for the Lord. Live for the Lord. And the Lord said to him, I will not hide my secret for you. A Savior shall be born. And before you die, you must see him. Why? He was a man that feared the Lord. If you want God to reveal his mind to you, his will to you, his purpose for your life, not going from one denomination to another, one prayer house to one prayer house, one Bible study to Bible study, one Bible school to Bible school, one seminar to Bible seminary, one discipleship to another discipleship. No, you will not know the mind of the Lord like that. Only by being in obedience and fear of God, He will reveal His secret to you. He will reveal His covenant to you. Amos 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. What? He revealed his secret to who? Unto his servants. Who? The prophet. The Lord will not carry out any mission, any agenda, any work, any intervention, even the redemption of the whole world. He will not do it except he will first of all share it with his servants, messengers, devotees, those that are his friends. I wonder why Jesus said in John 15, if you keep my commandments, I will call you no longer servants. I will call you what? My friends. Because servants do not know what the master does. But the friend knows very well. Now, the secret of the Lord will always be with them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. Also, the Lord will surely do nothing. He said, he revealed them to his servants. As we are going to discover, before he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he revealed it to who? To Abraham. Before he destroyed the world of Noah, he revealed to who? To Noah. Before the dedication of Jesus, he revealed it to Simeon and Hannah by the Spirit. This is more than becoming member of officials of men. More than becoming holiness, this holiness, that revival, that righteousness, that you know, uh, vision, this vision is more than the position you occupy in that place because so many of us are so occupied, eating up, devoted in the thing that does not glorify God. I will show you from the Bible. Martha and Mary welcomed Jesus to their house in Luke chapter 10 from Adam 38. The Bible said Martha was busy cooking, entering kitchen, coming out, you know, washing plates, putting the table in order. I was so busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Who are you cooking for? My Savior. Who you want to serve food to? My Savior. Who? Oh, yes. But Mary sat at Jesus' feet, listening and hearing the word of Jesus. Martha came to Jesus. 
and say, Master, why not tell my sister Mary to come and help me? She saw that we have you as a visitor. She saw that I want to attend to you. She saw I was cooking the kitchen. I was serving. Let her come and help me to serve you. And Jesus said to matter, matter, matter. You worry about so many things. But one thing is needful. And is important. And many have chosen that which is what? The most important. Today, this person is cooking for pastor, cooking for Gio, cooking for the, like those who will be cooking during the conference. I don't hear anything what they do for this conference. I don't hear the word of God. Why are you cooking? You have lost it all. You lose. I don't hear anything what they do for this conference. Why? I was this year, this year, and conference has come and gone. You have nothing. In the natural assessment or fiscal assessment, who out of these two will have gotten promotion? Who matter? Many, many people are here. Very busy. In different organ. They have no time to listen to God. Many even have some association they belong to as officials or men. Yet their life is not that better. money, business, position, position in the church, recognition, honor, respect. Many are pursuing doctorate degree, DDD in philosophy, DDD in music, DDD in all, in all, whatever. And so that when you want to address them, as your pastor say, Reverend Dr. DDD and Professor so, 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 so that is what they are pushing their life. But that is not the way heaven will recognize you for. But there are so many ways that cement right unto a man. But the end of it leads to what? To destruction. Mary has chosen the word that will give her life everlasting. Mary has chosen the word that will bring her into a relationship and intimacy. Mary has devoted her life in pursuit of spiritual pain. And the Lord commanded her. You know what I know. That when Jesus came here. In his ministry. He spoke to the crowd. The multitude. But. After speaking to the multitude. He will perform miracles among them. Sometimes. He will withdraw himself. And start addressing the disciples. Amen. 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 Because they are close to him. Then, after the disciples, sometimes he separates himself to speak to the twelve apostles. And the midst of twelve apostles, he always separates himself. Sometimes he separates Peter, James, and who? And John. When he was to go to Mount, uh, Mount of Transformation, who did he go with? Peter, James, and uh, when he was to pray at the Garden of Gethsemane before his uh, passion or during his passion, who did he ask to help him to pray? Who? He went with the level and then they said, Wait for me here. We are not apostles, they were apostles. Say, but you, three of you, follow me. He took them apart. Why? It's all about relationship, devotion. Even among that three of them, there was one they called John the Beloved. If Peter went to request anything from Jesus, he don't want to go direct. Who do you go with? Two. Who do you go to? You go to John. In John chapter 13, when Jesus said, One of you now will betray me. Amen. Peter couldn't ask. He said that there was one that sits at Jesus' breast. Call John the beloved. And Peter said, Please ask the master who is the person. He 
it was John that turned to Jesus and said, Master, who is the person that will betray you? Is it I? He said, No. All of them began to say, Oh, to Judas said. So even among three of them, the most closest person to Christ in his ministry was who? John the Divine. That was why even when Jesus died, he took John amen, at the island of what? Bartimaeus. When he was suffering persecution. And download. Everybody said download. Download. Everybody said download. Download. Many things he did not tell them when he was alive. And the ones he told them. Remember, he said to them, I have many things to say to you in John's history, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the comforter, the Holy Ghost come, he will show you what? All things. That even when he died, resurrected, ascended into heaven, they have to go to John again. The one that's so close to him. The one that's so intimate with him. The one that's so in oneness with him. And reveal the book of Revelation to him. From Revelation 1 to the end. To, to, to. He revealed it to John. Because of friendship. Because of intimacy. Because of oneness. Because of devotion. The Papa Simon or Simeon and Mama Hannah and our devotion and relationship and friendship and intimacy and oneness with God was extraordinary and cannot be overemphasized. That God downloaded his program of redemption of his people Israel and the same coming of the Savior. The Messiah to that he promised him he and the time and the season he was, he was to be um, born and the time he was to be led to the to, to the temple Bible says he they were led by the Spirit of the Lord to be present on the day of Christ's dedication in God's house. They both prophesied of the mission of the Messiah the ministry of the Messiah the life of the Messiah the death of the Messiah even as Simeon joyfully said let my soul depart in peace now that my eyes have seen the Savior or my Savior Messiah Christ so also God from time to time revealed his mind his will concern us. In Deuteronomy 29-29 we are told that every secret thing belongs to God. Every secret thing. 29-29 Deuteronomy Unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us, to our children forever. Why? That we may do all the ways of this law. So, if you want to know the secrets of God, you're going to be a friend of God. It's only friends or close relationship with somebody who made that person to tell you his or her secret. When you are in close relationship and united with Jesus in life agenda and program then he will tell you what he is about to do. Oh yes, the Bible says the day Jesus will come nobody knows it. Neither the day not the month, not the hour, not the night. Nobody knows. Amen. 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 The John told us something that will make us to know that God can even tell his friends. Amen. 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 First Corinthians chapter two. Verse 
verse 9. As it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither had he entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that what? That love him. Look at verse 10. But God has revealed them unto, unto us. By what? By his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yea, the key things of what? Of God. For what man knoweth not the things of man? Say the spirit of man. Which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but by what? But the spirit of God knows everything. So even those secret things that no man know, no philosopher, no scientist, no body uh, know it. God revealed it to man through his spirit. And that was why the Lord by the Holy Ghost revealed to Simon or Simeon that the baby Messiah was to be dedicated. Let him go and see him before he died. He went there and proclaimed. Hannah also. So brothers and sisters, if you want to go grow in the Lord, devote your life to pursuing God. Seeking God. By how? Every word of God is God. Many say they are born again, but they don't study the Bible. Many say they are speaking in tongues, but the Bible is far away from them. That's why many of them are deceived. They become half bit when any new law, I mean new doctrine, new water in the town, you are the first person they are going to meet. And before they take you away, because you don't know the word of God. Many are talented in singing, in praises, in uh, music, and whatever. Talented people, but not spiritual. And when there's any temptation, they will take you away because you're not spiritual. How do I mean the, the word of God is God? Bible say, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was who? So if you say you know God, you don't know the word of God, you don't know God. Spend time in studying the Bible. From different verses, different uh, you know, interpretations. Spend time. After reading, you may not understand what you thought newly. But the more you devote yourself, the more you pray and ask the Holy Ghost to teach you because it's out of the Bible. Bible says the scripture were written by holy men. By who? By the Holy Spirit detecting for them. So it's the Holy Spirit that wrote the Bible. Through him the Bible were written. And it's the Holy Spirit that teaches the Bible. Not theological school. Not seminary. Not even discipleship or whatever. No! It is the Holy Spirit. But you are not devoted. You are too customized concerning the things of the world. You are too localized. You are too located on the fleshly things. And when you die, the flesh is in God. When you die, your money die, everything die. Your building, you can enter there. But the thing that will take you from here to eternal life, you pay little or no attention. You know my children now. Huh? The time where I be bachelor, the time where I be single, I had a try, but now I don't marry. I have four children, five children. I know a good day time. If I pray, this one will stop me. If I they sing, you know. And when you reach the gate of hellfire, you tell the devil because you marry. That's why you must have God. And when you pray, God give me husband, God give me wife, God give me money, God give me car. God, they are gonna give you what you ask. Now you are telling God because of all this you gave to me. Now make me no fit to vote myself. When last did you separate yourself from business? Transporter. You said, this week I no go, my motor no go enter road. I won't go meet my baba. Businessman, businesswoman. Where have you separated yourself like Hannah? Widow, at the widow, at the widow. They know they look at me, at the pastor wife. They know you are looking for sympathy. You are looking for sympathy. Who will tell you that? Do, do, do. That's what you're looking for. But for Hannah, 
she said even though I lost my husband I will use all my life to serve this God in fasting and prayer for Simon he said all my life I will wait for my Messiah until my eyes see him before I die he prayed that prayer the Lord granted it to him may the Lord grant your prayers in Jesus name I say may God grant our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. When you read Matthew 13, verse 14, the Bible said, Jesus always speaks to the people in parable. Never say parable. It was a parable. But at the time, the disciples asked him this question: Why do you speak to them in parable? Matthew 13. Okay, from verse 10. Matthew 13 from 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speak it thou unto them? What? In parables. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. What is mysteries? Mystery means secrets. What's a secret? What's a secret? Secret. Mysteries means what? Secret. And this secret is what the people are asking. Why do you speak to everybody in parable? He said, yes, I will speak to the people, the carnal people, the worldly people, the natural people. They may be philosophers. They may be lecturers. They may be professors. They may be his excellency. They may be his honorable. They may be his majesty. They may, I will speak to them what? In parable. Why? That's why when they open Bible, Bible become coded. You know that man called Ethiopian Enoch? Eh? He was reading the book of Isaiah 53. He was coded to him. Until the Holy Spirit asked Philip, join this chariot. And when Philip joined his chariot, as for returning from worship in Jerusalem, and he heard he was reading loud, loudly, and Philip asked him, Master, understand the word thou readest? What did he answer? How can I understand? He said, somebody put me through. To see his inquisition, his thirsty, his hunger, his desire, his uh, you know, pursuit of God, but it was quoted. He asked another question. Does the prophet speak about himself or someone else? The Bible says, Philip from that center introduced Jesus Christ the Messiah to him. He was so happy that the word I've been reading in parable, what I've been reading, you know, as riddles, have now become plain. That that man that was despised, that man that was chastised, that man that be our sin, his name is Jesus. No longer sorry, sorry. Today, many are making commemoration, commemoration of a, a Pentecost commemoration, everything in the church, commemoration. Come on, but those things I cannot give life. It is the Spirit that give life. And the man, when they were going, he said, "I believe." He was the one who asked Philip, look at the river, look at the river. Can anything prevent you from being baptized? He said, if you believe that Jesus, he said, I believe. And Philip took him and baptized him. As he turned to look, to show gratitude to Philip, the Holy Ghost cautioned Philip, Philip vanished from his eyes. He said, wow, what a wonder. Which church did they go? Fishers from me. I love that church. But your name is not in the book of life. Sister, give us testimony. Ah, God is using our pastor, using many brothers and sisters. He pray for me, I get healing. He pray for me, I get money. He did pray for me, I get husband. Pray for me. But your name is not in the book of life. You need to tell Jesus today. I want a personal relationship with you. One on one. They are different from our God who are to you and my God who is what? Him. They are different between our church and what? My church. They are different between our pastor and what? My pastor. The difference is 
relationship. Everyone say relationship. Relationship. Intimacy is not about oneness with God. That was God's original purpose from creation. In Genesis 1 to said, Let us make man in our own image, as our own what? likeness. And Bible said, In the image of him made them male and what? Male and uh, female. Now, what does that signify? God is three persons, what? In one. That was why he did not say, Let me make man. He said, Let us. You are referring to who? The Father was addressing who? The Son and what? The Holy Spirit. And when he made man, he made man in the same form. The body, the spirit and what? The soul. In three form. And that's why John divine said, there are three that bear the God what? In heaven. The Father, the Son and what? The Spirit. He called it the Word. But there are three that bear the God what? On the earth. He called it what? The blood the word and the spirit. You know so? Amen. Amen. No other creature that have this except man. Why? God wanted to live inside man, walk with man, and man resemble him. And that was why in Genesis 3 8, Bible said he planted a garden and placed man there. That even when he was coming to have fellowship with man, in that same garden, man had left the garden. He came in the midst of that garden where he planted. He put him there to dress it. So why was coming? He gave to the garden. He didn't see the man. His image that he planted there. He asked him, "Where are you, Adam? Adam, Adam, I'm looking for you. Where are you?" He said, "I heard your voice, and I was ashamed, and I was naked, and I was afraid. I ran away. I hid myself in the midst of this uh, bush, no longer garden." When somebody must light and leave the presence of God, he'll be looking for where to go, hide himself. Do you know people must light and see God to evangelism? Money cry, host crusade, do donation, do good works. That cannot cover you. Except you return where the Lord bless you. Do you know somebody can must light and see do the work of God? Preachers and preaching. Are you, are you following me? When God said to Moses, speak to the rock. And Moses was angry because he was provoked by his people. He smiled the rock. Did the water come out? Did the people who heard Moses? They heard him. Oh, man of God. He had brought water again. But he did not know the other secret. Many are going from church to church, miracle, blessing, prosperity. And you're getting them. You're healing the man. You don't know you belong to a secret society. You're healing the woman. You, you know, the, the woman is the sea, is the sea, is the sea, is the sea, is the sea. And you're healing her, she's the sea. But you don't know she's a princess in the water. Moses gave them what? Water. Not by God's will. There are people that are performing miracles. They have churches. They have organization, worldwide organization. They are seeing vision. They will see and say, I see this person in hellfire. And this person in heaven. I see this person in hellfire. And, and they, in fact, the people they are seeing more now are the people in hellfire. They know the people in heaven. And you are following them. Wait till mama talk. Mama, I go see you tomorrow. You go see you tomorrow, my son, my daughter, my daughter. Mama, uh, uh, will I say, you go succeed. But they have left God. It was this, the Lord that said to Moses now, though I have given them water because of my name, I have satisfied them because that's what they wanted. But you do not sanctify me. Because of this, it's going to cost you something. That land, they went to bring the leaves and the fruits. You're only going to see it with your eyes. You can't enter there. If we're to be today, you will judge 
approached Moses by oil and said, Moses has no problem. But heaven said, Moses, you disobey me. No general overseer in heaven. No. Everyone that will go to heaven will be a what what you call a, a faithful servant. Ever say fool? Say, welcome, well done, my faithful. Not general overseer, not apostle, not bishop, not mama, not world uh, worldwide organization, not a uh, president general of a church. No, not a pope, not a uh, archbishop, not cardinal. The people that go there are faithful servants. You may not be reverend, may not be a full-time pastor, may not be even preach and preaching, but you are faithful. The Bible do not call Hannah, or the Bible called her prophetess, amen, because of her devotion. But Simeon was not called a pastor, nor a prophet. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So what am I implying? I'm saying here that the greatest achievement, success, one could achieve here is oneness with God. Everybody say oneness with God. That when this heaven and earth pass away, because you are one with God, you make heaven. First Corinthians chapter um, 6, verse 17. He that joined himself to the Lord is one spirit. Amen. He that joined himself to who? To the Lord is what? Immediately you join yourself to the Lord. Abandon your pursuit, your program, your vision, everything in the world, and now allow him to be all in all in your life. Then you have achieved the eternal value, eternal standard. But if you pursue your worldly ambition, even in churches and ministry, many say, my target is to win the whole world. For who? For certain of God. And you that went to win the whole world. You use what you call what you call business uh, style. And uh, what you call promotion style. And uh, what you call top show and entertainment style. And that's why you see people today, they have turned the house of God to entertainment centers. And where people gather and make show, talk show and whatever. And people like that, they call it church. And so many of our youths. Are carried away by song. Remember, say song. Remember, say song. Song. Remember, say song. song. Not every song that people who call themselves Christian musicians sing is from the spirit. Some come from the soul. They call it soulless. Amen. You know Michael Jackson. Amen. You heard about him. Have you heard any of his songs? Yeah. Eh? Yep. When you listen to a song, if not that it's outward world, appearance, you would think that it's an angel that was speaking, that singing. It was coming from the soul. But the Lord did not ask God to worship in spirit, and, I mean in the in soul and the truth. What did he ask God to worship him? Spirit. And that's why I call it spiritual song, not solely song. Many are following voice. He has voice and he's singing in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. And people are dancing and following soul and so which is mind. And they are carried away. But when you are singing and doing anything from the spirit man, it will be communicating to the spirit man. Amen. But when you are singing from the soul, you will be addressing the mind. When we are speaking from the body, talent, you will be entertaining people, emotion, they will be dancing and dancing. And there are so many parts of they call them uh, um, parts of music. Uh, parts of they are singing from solo, from their soul, and they are grabbing people for their soul. And eventually, on the last day, they will discover their soul in their flesh. And they will make corruption. Unless their soul is what? Converted. Amen. Because of time, my time is off. Let me summarize. That was why Jesus came to come back to stay with us and dwell in us. Isaiah chapter 7 for him, call him Emmanuel, meaning God what? God with us. Matthew 1 21, call him uh, 23, call him what? Emmanuel, meaning God what? God is returning back to do what? 
forgive what I say, his name shall be called Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Amen. So the essence and the whatever you, uh, you can attain in life, a very short thing, is when God is inside you, be in control and living in you. You have us come to the level of oneness with him. Amen. Amen. I say amen. Amen. That was why in John 14, 8, John 17, 22, 21, 23, Jesus prayed that they will be one, even as I and the Father is what? One. So oneness with the Father is also the will of God. In John 15, 1 to 7, talk about also the same unity or oneness that if it we abide in him, he abides in us, we have nothing to do with the kingdom. But if we abide in us and his word abide in us, then we can ask whatever we will, it shall be given unto us. So God wants to dwell in us in oneness. He rejected physical structure of the Old Testament temple of the ark and also the temple and decided that he want to dwell in our lives. In Isaiah 66 1 to 2 said that what sacrifice or offering will you give me or what temple or what house will you be to me? Isaiah 66 verse 1 and 2. What did he say? I'm not interested in your seed houses, marvels, golden houses. Let me read. God said the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me? And where is my, the place of my rest? For all these things had my hand what? made. And all those things have been before you were born. Has been before you were created. Has been. Say the Lord. But to this man will I look even to him that is poor. This poor means humble. This poor means the one that depend and rely and converted that sees himself as least significant, meaningless person, unworthy person. He is the one that will look who humble is set before me as nobody and of a contrary I mean, repentant heart and tremble at my that fear me. He is the one I'm going to consider. Not those who don't know me, a eh, eh, hold me, a eh, hold me, almighty pastor like me, almighty Jehovah like me, almighty John of Asia, I'm a whole youth, you know, a preacher, a demon destroyer, um, prefer, no, the whole, 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 the Lord say, I don't know them. But the one that is poor and humble and simple, I will consider. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The time is up, but let me say a few things. The devotion of Abraham to God made God to say in Genesis 18, 17 to 23, 22, I will not hide what I'm going to do to from Abraham. Hence is my friend. I will not hide my mission to Sodom. He called him, he said, because I know he's going to command his house, he's going to raise his family according to the fear of God. He called him and revealed himself to him. In Genesis also, I mean um, in James chapter 2, 23, that's why Abraham was called the friend of God. In also Isaiah 1, 8, also referred to Abraham also as a friend of God. That is why he downloaded his mission, his will, his secret, the message to him about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Enoch was a man also to enjoy the revelation, the mysteries of the Lord. And because of the, his pursuance and commitment in the Lord, the Lord took him. He didn't see death because he was walking in devotion. He devoted all his life, all his life to come to intimacy with the Lord and the Lord took him. Abraham, Enoch, Moses, Samuel. Oh, Samuel, that man. Oh, that Samuel, that man. That man, Samuel. That man, Samuel. That do not even make any statement. Why he was praying? Why, why he was with the, with the, uh, uh, you know, with, with David at the city of Nayot with all that, uh, other uh, uh, other other young prophets and King Saul, saying people to go and bless him. When they got there, the presence of God in the life of Samuel 
arrested them three times and King Saul came. Samuel did not say, Power come, fire. He kept quiet. He was just busy worshiping his God, prophesying. And they entered there, they were all arrested. Why? That's one mess with God. That's a man of God. That's a woman of God. Sometimes you see, fire, 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 blood of Jesus, papa, 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 he, 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 he. Uh, uh, when we are truly get to this level, sicknesses and problems will ordinary bow before his presence. Amen. Amen. I say amen. Amen. Time with me to talk about Elijah. A man that went to heaven without dying by why wind. Why? He had from God. He's one with God. Even when he got confused, when he got discouraged by the threat of uh, uh, Jezebel, yet he was refreshed at the mountain of the Lord, Mount Horeb. That he came back again continuing. And that was why the Lord showed him that man, he will not die. Do you are praying? Die. I want to die. Kill me. Kill me. The Lord said, you will not die. Do you ask me to kill you? You will not die. I will not kill you. Not that Jezebel will be able to kill you. Now, I didn't know the person, but I'm taking you to heaven. And he didn't do it in secret. He told Elisha. He told 50 prophets that I'm taking your master away. So it was not in secret. He took him to heaven without dying. Now, what of Daniel? The beloved. That one that leaked every secret that's beyond man. Nebuchadnezzar dream, he forgot the dream. Now that know the answer. And all the magicians and all the people, astrologers, and all the people were called to come and review the dream and the interpretation. They couldn't. And when they passed, they said that any all the wise men will be killed. And somebody went to tell, arrest, arrest Daniel and said, the master said all of you will be killed because he said, what is the problem? He told him, he said, tell him, give me time, I will come and reveal the dream to him and reveal what? The interpretation. That's the man God that knew the secret. It was secret. And Daniel eventually sought God with Shadrach, Meshach, and uh, Abednego. They went in search of God. They went waiting on the Lord. And three of them were, four of them were waiting. It was Daniel that the Lord showed the interpretation. And Daniel worshipped the Lord. Said, I have gotten no need of praying. God has shown me the thing. And he came to the king. When he told him the dream, the king said, That is exactly my dream. That's exactly. Now I said, Look at the answer. Amen. Look at the interpretation. That is a man we're talking about. Such men, they are scarce. Very scarce. Very scarce. But they are, it's still possible for you to be one of them. It's still possible for me to be one of them only by the special grace. Amen. But we must have strong desire. Before we pray, I said here that both. David, Daniel, David, who were called a man after heart, after God's heart, was a man of many parts. He was such people that also they revealed the mind of God concerning the secret. So both Daniel and they were men who worked closely with God and experienced God's wonderful relationship. Demonstrated it on the earth. Bible talk of Moses that. I will speak to him mouth to mouth as a friend speak to what? To his friend because he's more than a prophet. He's more than a visioner. He's more than a revelator. He says that's prophet among you, that's visioner among you, that's a dreamer among you. I will talk to them, but I will speak to them in dream and revelation and vision. But for Moses, he's my friend. I will speak to him mouth to mouth. Wow. And everything I want to do, I will download it to Moses. And that is why, not only in the Old Testament, I've told you about the New Testament. The word John, when he came to Jesus by the Sea of Galilee, the Bible called him John and James, the sons of what? Zebedee. The sons of what? Zebedee. But later his name changed from John, the son of Zebedee, to John, the beloved, to John, the divine. What brought about that? Beloved means the one that is close to God and love of God. Divine means the John that is spiritual. Now, John graduated from John, the son of Zebedee, to John divine. How? By devotion. By seeking and living and relying on God. And John Shake your account. Peter, I 
has an issue, not John. Judah has an issue, not John. Thomas has an issue, not John. John followed the Lord from the day till the day he died. He was a spiritual man. He was a beloved. May God address you and I Amen. as his beloved. Amen. Who oh, are not hearing louder? Amen. Amen. Oh, how do you go about it? In Matthew 6 33, seek you first the kingdom of God. And his what? Righteousness. All these things shall be added. For if you seek him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, you find him. This conference is not mere conference for miracle, miracle, blessing, blessing. It's a conference that will transform lives. Amen. That will make God to be like Jesus. Amen. When you come here, pay attention. Invite your friends, invite your relatives, invite pastors, invite reverend bishop, invite them. I tell you, this same God will be waiting for you. you. Amen. The level you wear now is expected that after this conference, your level will change. Amen. Come with expectation. Amen. Come with desire. Amen. If they give you meat, when no, the meat is not plenty. Say, Jesus, I thank you. If food nourish you, say, Jesus, I thank you. Maybe food that come for, maybe one sister, one sister. I'm not going to come for husband, not going to come for wife. Even miracle blessing. That one, Nigeria. Which one, Nigeria? Miracle. I said, prosperity, miracle blessing. That one, wait. Jara. Why are we coming to the conference? To seek the kingdom of God and his word, righteousness. Are you ready to come? Yeah. Will you be willing to come? Shall we rise up and say, Jesus, I am here for you alone and seeking you. Oh Lord, I want to know you more. Open to me the mystery of Jesus. Oh Lord, I want to know you more. Open to me the mystery of Jesus. Oh I want to know you more, Lord. I want to know the mystery of Jesus. Oh, I want to know you more. Open to me the mystery of Jesus. I'm not yet like you, master. I'm not yet like you, master. I'm not yet like you, master. I'm not 
not loving like you, Master. I'm not praying like you, Master. I'm not walking like you, Master. I'm not preaching like you, Master. I am not talking like you, Master. I want to know you more, Master. Help me, Lord. Teach me, I want to know you. I want to know. I want to love you. I want to love you. I want to serve you. I want to hear you every day. I want to hear you every day. close to you as I'm supposed to be close to you. I'm not yet obedient to you as I'm supposed to be obedient to you. I'm not yet obedient to you as I'm supposed to be. That is why I am here Lord. That is why I am here Lord. To seek you. To seek you. With all my heart. With all my heart. With all my soul. With all my soul. With all my spirit. With all my spirit. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I can never cover anymore. I cannot cover every any hypocrisy number. in my heart. Every hypocrisy in my heart. Every cover up in my life. Every cover up in my life. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Take away those things from my heart. Take away those from my and heart. And show me my reserve. And show me my reserve. Before your throne. Before your throne. So that I will not be thinking that I'm standing. So that I will not be thinking that I'm standing. Please I fall. Please I fall. I ask you, Father. I ask you, Father. Wherever I'm disconnected from you. Wherever I'm disconnected from you. By the affairs of this life. By the affairs of this whatever life. Whatever I devoted myself to. Whatever I devoted myself to. Impossibly. Impossibly. As forcing in my life. As forcing in that my is life. outside you. That is outside you. Put those things away from my life. Put those things away from I hand those things away. Hand those things away. Be number one. Be number one. Be my number one pursue. Be my number one pursue. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I have resolved. I have resolved to pursue. To pursue. To seek you. To seek you. To follow you. To follow you. To live for you. To live for you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I promise from now to the end of my journey. I promise from now to the end of my journey. I will live for you. I will live for you. All the days of my life. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for accepting Thank me. Thank you for washing me. Thank you for washing me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray for everyone here. May the Holy Spirit never leave us. Amen. Keep on teaching us, Father. guiding us, revealing these mysteries to us, Amen. and helping us out from the kingdom of darkness into your kingdom. Amen. Whatever we have been caged, let that chain be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever we have been lured away from you, we turn our back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. We are resolved to see Jesus on the last day. We are resolved to follow him from earth to heaven. Whatever that will hinder us, let him remove in Jesus' name. Amen. You have told us if we got the kingdom of God and his righteousness. 
every other thing the earthly people are looking for, the world people are looking for, shall be added unto us. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I give you glory for answer to prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, as a voice, as a man, I am not stop. But your voice is eternal. May your voice continue. Yes, May your voice continue. Amen. May your voice continue. Amen. In our heart, in our ear, in our life. Yes, Lord. So that the church will hear what the Spirit is saying in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. Amen. Give me a clap of the Lord. You will be seated. This message and you wish to give your life to Jesus Christ say this prayer after me Lord Jesus I acknowledge that I'm a sinner I come to you for mercy cleanse me with your blood and make me a new creature as I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior I will live for you all the days of my life. Amen. Congratulations, you are now a child of God. You can worship in any of our branch or any Bible-believing practicing church close to you. Your life will never remain the same. God bless you.